the top of you just like to lose. Make a move. Been at the bottom, I got the proof. You gotta choose. Make a choice. I need a hundred pack for my boys. Deep, be hating and talking and talking and hating. I bet you I kill the noise. I've been a man like I'm painting. I boost up my rating. You know how I play with toys. Pop out on any occasion. Get standing ovations. They can't help it but rejoice. They all wanna follow me. Cause I got my foot on the opposition. neck and ain't no apologies. Honey, y'all, you know I own all the property. Daddy told me you know I own all the property. You gotta choose. You like the top of you just like the lose. Make a move. Been at the bottom. I got the proof. You gotta choose. You like the top of you just like the lose. Make a move. Been at the bottom. I got the proof. You gotta choose. You like the top of you just like the lose. Make a move. Been at the bottom. I got the proof. You gotta choose. You like the top of you just like the lose. Make a move. Been at the bottom. I got the proof. You gotta choose. I'm alive in the dark, and I keep getting stronger. My limits the sky. I do the impossible, impossible. Shine if I want to. I win every time if I want to. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the so-called Silicon Valley and Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Washington Commanders and the San Francisco 49ers. The holiday season is upon us. We've got the gift of the NFL as we're underway here in Week 16. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds, so really good start. up on tap between the Washington Commanders and the San Francisco 49ers. The holiday season is upon us. We've got the gift of the NFL as we're underway here in week 16. A short kick taken at the 18. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. 52 plus. 
Right out of the gates, Lance going to the air. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. Finding room at midfield. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Shotgun now for Lance. To the right side, it's caught by Mitchell. Call it a gain of three on the play, and it'll be second okay, down. Right? The Niners in trouble to start play, six and eight on the year. And they were winners their last time out, so they'll be looking to make it two in a row. And so much about football, partner, comes down to mindset. Being in the right frame of mind in the best way to get in that good frame of mind, winning. So they come in feeling good, and they get back and behind them. I think they're going to be tough to beat in this one. Throwing on first down is Lance. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect 4-4 four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go, but sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well drilled, well prepared, and excited to start this game. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they do. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Seemed like a couple sets of eyes were on the quarterback, so he decided, hey, I'm going to hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage, but every one of these RPOs, if you do it right and they look the same, whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback keeps it, that allows you to fool the defense so often. And in this case, fooled them with the inside run. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, Created some space, and he got there. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Here's Sermon. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. His second rushing touchdown of the year and third overall. And the 49ers will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Well, these guys scored touchdown after touchdown in that win a week ago. So how do they come out this week? Same way. They got that momentum going, a touchdown on the opening drive. I think it's safe to say that they're in a groove, isn't it? I mean, a lot of times we've seen where teams have scored a ton of points the week before. The very next week, struggle to score almost as if they used it all up. Not in this case. This group appears locked in. We're going to have to make some adjustments if you're on the other side of that football. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Christmas Eve here in 2022. A big slate today of Saturday games. But we will have, ready for this, a triple header of action on Christmas Day tomorrow. I think it's pretty safe to say we won't have a white Christmas in any of these places, however. We start with the Packers and Dolphins in Miami at 1 Eastern. Then you got the Broncos and Rams from Los Angeles. And then finally, the Bucks and Cardinals at 820 Eastern in the desert. Plus one more for good measure on Monday. Once the family's all gone back home and Grandma's putted out of the house. Grab the leftovers and sit back and watch the Chargers and the Colts from Indianapolis. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. 
Well, this defense for the Niners, they were terrific a week ago in the win over Seattle. And one of the key things you always look for when you're evaluating a defense is how opportunistic are they? How many takeaways do they get per game? And how about last week's game? That number, six. Absolutely phenomenal performance. They were on top of their game right from the first snap. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. On the move past the 40. They'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. Just shy of the 20. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Up the middle, it's Williams. Then he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. To throw, Bridgewater. To the right side and complete to Thomas. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs. Hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. And they run the option here on first and ten. It'll be a pickup of five on the keeper. It's second down. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. Now second and five. Snap will come from the six. From the gun, he'll hand this off. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. Six nothing, our score after one. have an extra defensive back on the field. A nickel set for third down. Bridgewater. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Javon Kinlaw in there to get him for a loss of three, and it will be fourth down. Sly able to put this one through. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. This one taken just inside the 10. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. As the season winds down and you look at them in totality, you know, the offense 
has struggled. The defense has been pretty good, so I would imagine the changes this offseason may be more on the offensive side of the ball. And this is where we always hear the term complementary football because, as you noted, the defense has played well enough for them to win games, and the offense has held them back. So they've got to reward that defense by improving on offense. I don't know if you make a change of quarterback, running back, tight end. It doesn't matter. Get better players, better system, so they can play to the standards of the defense, and the win column will result. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Lance going to try and throw on third down here. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. And this is what you want to see from a defense. Give up an opening drive touchdown, that's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand, and forcing a three and out, and giving the ball back to their offense. On is the punter Scott here as he gets this one away. 35 yards that time on the punt. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. 